like a like a, a character. Somebody should make a a cartoon character called Gleb, and it should be that, just like perfectly suited, super charming prince. This is Chrishell and Gleb. It's the waltz, and I and uh, this is the final performance of the night. Dancing the waltz with her partner Gleb. It's Chrishell Staus. She looks gorgeous. This is so perfect. Oh my God, he's the best prince. Come on, look at Gleb. He looks like a like a, a character. Somebody should make a, a cartoon character called Gleb and it should be that. Just like perfectly suited, super charming prince. <laughs> oh, I love this. Let's go to Shell. <laughs> Perfect ending. Look, Cruchelle is just not a comfortable dancer. She's a comfortable swayer. Uh, she certainly looks amazing. Um, the dress, the, the way the ballroom looked, the music, it was just beautiful. Um, it didn't pan out and it didn't, you know, she didn't do anything wrong. But let's just dissect what she didn't do. She didn't really do dance steps. There was certain step together, step together. There was a moment right in the very beginning when Gleb started moving and it took a couple of steps, but it again, it just didn't end up anywhere. It ended up in a couple of steps and that's it. And it's not a knock on Gleb and his creativity because we know that there's way more where it comes from, but it's basically to say that we have reached our limit. This is a very easy dance, okay? It didn't travel anywhere. They went down the stairs on stage. They didn't move at all because it was all stationary. They went down the stairs. They took two steps, went, traveled about a corner, and that's it. Um, the effectiveness of the end spin when Gleb has her in, her arm, in, in his arms and spins around, that goes away um, because it just looked like, you know, he was trying to limit her footwork. So it worked, is what I'm trying to say. It worked in the form of what you were trying to do. But to me, you know, it's not... Um, it's just not a complete dance. You know, to me, it's just a great, it's a good performance for Cruchel. It's just not a good dance and um, not good enough for me to put it up over certain people, you know, that I find to be in the same category as Cruchel, right? So I'm going to give it a six. Um, I really do want to see her come out. I think Rochelle is the is I think Rochelle right now is the dark horse in this in this whole competition. And 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 the reason why I'm saying is because she can be eliminated tonight. I don't know. She can be eliminated next week or she can stay the whole season. I promise you we've seen things. We've we've seen people come out, we've seen people ex just expose themselves basically Cruchelle is still guarded by, I, I not, this isn't my thing. I'm, you know, I didn't have this background. You know, she's guarded by maybe there's some level of intimidation too. You know, look at the, some, some competition. You have the Johnny and right, go right before you. You have Neva and Jenna go right before that. You're closing the show, you know, with all these things. She did great. It's just not enough movement for me. So I think maybe she's someone who needs to stay on a competition for a little bit of time and gather 
the knowledge and understanding of just moving in a dense matter manner she looks like she needs extra you know thought process from gleb just to make sure that some of these things are not obvious right and so he's trying he's doing his best and, he, and, and he's doing great and so is Chriselle, but I think she can do way better and she should do way better. Um, I'm going to give it a six.